What's going on everybody? It's Steve here with the week three team builder against the 2W. I don't know the exact same name of the team right now. Whimsicott, Wedgehurst, something like that. Uh, they have taken over for Cheryl who unfortunately had a bad issue that had to be taken care of. And personally I'm upset about that because that was like a guaranteed win for me. Um, he has changed around the team quite a bit. He's got Gyarados, Grimmsnarl, Marowak, Registeel, Tangela, Rotom Frost, Slowbro, Ditto, Moltres, Runarigus, and Hitmontop. Uh, this team is much more well-balanced, as you can see. No net weaknesses. Um, well, you can't quite see that. Let me move over a little bit. No net weaknesses. Uh, not very many resistances either, though. Um, the old team would have just got smashed by Finny. This one, not so much, because he's got uh, Rotom Frost, Tangela, Gyarados gets Power Whip and can't be hit super effectively by Finny. Uh, so, can't just do brain dead Finny strats like I did week one. Um, I do think he's going to bring Gyarados, Grimmsnarl, Marowak, and Registeel. Uh, and then any two of the following, he's probably going to want Trick Room to be up, since if we go down to the speed tiers. It seems like really slow. We're kind of middling, actually. Uh, I don't, he doesn't have a way to get Tailwind up uh, unless he brings Moltres, which, funnily enough, could end up being a problem, but I really don't think he brings Moltres against my team. I've got Omastar, I've got Finny, I've got Vigavolt, Ante. Like, Moltres does nothing, basically, except for Counter Executor. Uh, so I think he's going to try a Trick Room mode, either with Slowbro or Runarigus. Probably Runarigus, if I had to guess. Uh, and then either Rotom Frost or Tangela. Probably not Tangela, because I've got Misty, uh, Misty Terrain, so Tangela wouldn't offer much. And you know what, you could always just bring Ditto or Hitman Top. I wouldn't be terribly surprised, but I would expect two of these four, and then all four of these top ones. So, let's get into what I am bringing... And we start off with the Sableye, as always, with the Citrus Berry. Uh, these EVs might seem weird. Uh, that is to guarantee I live in Adamant uh, Life Orb Max Gyarados attack all the time. Uh, unless he's running some weird attack that I'm not aware that it gets. Um, but I will live, and the, the range will tell me whether he's Jolly or Adamant. Uh, I've got Leer, Will-O-Wisp, Encore, and Nightshade. Leer is there so that my main max threat can Oko his entire team. Um, outside of max, and some of them inside of max, namely Gyarados. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is there for the Marowak and Gyarados. Even if Finny is out, Wisp will still burn the Gyarados. Encore is there for both Registeel and for Trick Rumors, so I can get out of Trick Room or lock him into like Iron Defense or Protect, something completely useless. And typically, Registeel won't have anything to hit Sableye, so... That's good. Uh, Finny here with an Aguav Berry, Misty Surge, Moonblast, Muddy Water, Protect, and Taunt. Again, the defense here is to live a Gyarados. Basically, all my... Uh, everything here is to... All my spreads are based on living Gyarados attacks or Marowak attacks. Uh, this Finny will never survive a Power Whip without uh, the, the, the Grass Berry. I forget what it's called right now. Rindo. Um, the main idea with Finny is that I want to stop uh, Thunder Wave from Grimmsnarl, if there is a Thunder Wave. I will not bring Finny unless I see Thunder Wave. Uh, otherwise, it's fairly useless, this matchup. Uh, Taunt makes it useful against um, Registeel as well as the Trick Rumors. Entei is the main max threat this week. Uh, max speed, almost max attack. Um, this spread allows me to one-hit KO a Dynamax Gyarados at minus one defense with a max Rockfall. Uh, it will also KO most Marowax uh, if he's not Dynamaxed with a max Flare. Um, Crunch is there for the Ghosts and the Psychic Types, Runarigus and Slowbro, both of whom have very high defenses, but both get KO'd at minus one defense with the Leer. 
and a max darkness. Uh, protect is to protect, and Flare Blitz is a good attack. Vika Volt is another Trick Room answer. Protect Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, and Energy Ball. Hit his basically his entire team for super effective damage. I suspect it's going to be a Lightning Rod Marowak to get around that. Uh, the Room Service speed is just enough to underspeed Slowbro or Runarigus when Trick Room goes up. And I can hit them both super effectively with Energy Ball or Max Overgrowth. Uh, Executor is back. Chlorophyll Leftovers, I might change from Leftovers. Uh, Leech Seed protects Sleep Powder and Dream Eater. Um, this is to pair with Entei if I do a Max Flare. Executor starts going faster than his entire team with this speed. And he's not even very fast, so that's pretty good. Uh, start putting stuff to sleep and just disrupt the game in general. And hopefully get to an end game. Uh, the only worry here would be if uh, there is a Tangela. As you can see, Executor can't do anything to Tangela. And obviously I would not bring this thing with Finny at the same time. And Choice Picks Gengar. Uh, just to do an ass load of damage, really. I uh, don't need too much speed to outspeed his whole team. Uh, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Bomb are all very good against him. And Trick, if I just trick that onto a Registeel or something that's just set up Trick Room, or going to set up Trick Room, then they have to switch or max, which is always valuable. Um, oh, this is mainly just a backup. Oh, he's uh, G Max too, in case I want to trap something in and actually end up maxing Gengar. Um, I don't know when exactly I would bring this. The main thing is I'm just going to lead Sableye uh, plus Entei. And depending on what he's got, just Leer and max attack whatever is out there uh, with a super effective attack, which I can hit most things for super effective damage with this Entei. Uh, or if he leads like Gyarados Marowak, which would be worst case, I can Will-O-Wisp and protect. And then Vigavolt and Executor in the back. Peace.